What is up guys, Joe Snow right here. So today in this video we're discussing again about the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak because it's important. So you probably remember that in my previous video I presented you uh, that the jailbreak, well the exploits for it and the project was released for um, iOS 10.1.1 but it wasn't compatible with most of the devices, only an iPad mini 2 and the iPod Touch 6th generation. Then I also showed you one day ago how you can extend the compatibility of that thing by changing the offsets but some of you were unable to find the offsets because you need to work with either Pro or Hopper Disassembler directly on the kernel and some of you couldn't simply find the offset. So what I did was to create a fork. Now a fork is basically the project modified and um, made better added some code and then published on um, a forking platform, for example, GitHub. So now if you navigate here in, on the link in the description, you have my GitHub in here and you have this project right here called iOS 10.1.1 Project Zero Exploit for Jailbreak FC uh, the 65 fork. So um, you need to read this. So basically what this does, this is the same uh, iOS 10.1.1 exploits for jailbreaking project but it is compatible with all ARM64 devices which means that all 64-bit iPhones and iPads and iPods are now compatible directly with the project and you don't need to modify any single line of code and this is why I forked it and this is what uh, it changes so basically if you go here on the offset.c uh, I made a collection of everything that means offsets from whatever I found them, I, I found a couple myself, I took a couple from Reddit and so on and compiled them together into a tool that you can download the project for it. So uh, here I add a couple of comments, only change the offset if you know what you're doing, check out my channel for tutorial on that. But here you have the um, offsets for all the devices including iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone uh, SE, iPhone 6 Plus, 6S Plus and so on. Uh, success and so on right you have a couple of um, of things in here and uh, what I also modified on this application for this uh, jailbreak utility well so-called barebone jailbreak utility is the main storyboard file some of you got confused why the heck your phone showed uh, a white screen when you started so now I replaced the um, the white screen that comes with the project from Google Project Zero with this that lets you know that it was successfully deployed now you can focus on the debug page, the bug page, which is this one right here. This is where you should be focusing when you're trying this tool. And then on your Xcode, you need to be focusing on your Xcode, not on your phone. Because I received questions like, uh, what can I do? I deployed the application to my phone, but it didn't jailbreak. It, it shows a white screen. What can I do? Now instead of that white screen, you see these instructions. And I also wanted to make it clear that this is not the original project. It's a modified one because some of you might get confused. Now, this is my fork, my personal fork of it. And uh, if you want uh, if you want to see the original, the original is available in here on uh, on this link. I'm going to put it in the description and it also contains the instructions on how to uh, build this and how to find uh, new offsets for it by de decompressing the kernel and so on. We covered these instructions from here uh, on my previous video, this one from right here, so make sure you follow it up if you want to. But this project I published basically contains support for all 64 devices. Unfortunately, I cannot release a uh, project version of this one for um, for supporting the uh, the 32-bit devices because that would require to change a lot of code, including the sandbox escape code, including the um, the kernel memory helpers, including the jailbreak itself, which is right here, and including the um, the patching, the patch for M um, MFEI. Uh, demon. So you cannot simply run this. You can modify this code uh, on um, on the Xcode to make it work on 32-bit devices. There is nothing that can stop you from doing that, but it would require modifying a big chunk of code, which is unfortunately necessary. Now, for those of you who don't understand where is the jailbreak in all this part, uh, the problem is this is a jailbreak project. So it's not a full jailbreak for the moment. It is a project created by Google Project Zero or Zero containing two important exploits. One for sandbox escaping, which is extremely important in jailbreaking, and the second one for root shell access, which is again extremely important because it lets you run anything. So what I'm going to do in uh, in the next videos, I'm going to try to insert the um, 
dpkg application and try to, to install devs on, uh, on the project. Maybe I will get Cydia to work, but it's less likely until I get to, um, to modify the app a little bit. But anyways, this is uh, what this uh, update means. I reforked this project. You can download it for free, of course, on, um, on uh, GitHub in here. Read the uh, description, of course. And basically, this is what it does. It basically changes a little bit the structure of the code to be compatible with all devices. That means you no longer need to go and find offsets yourself and write the code for every and each offset yourself. You have them all written together in here in a simple fork. Uh, I really hope this helps. I'm going to keep you updated when a, uh, a jailbreak tool using this project will drop because uh, there are extreme, extremely big cha changes that um, chances that the, um, the project itself will turn eventually into a simple uh, binary that you'll run and will jailbreak your device. But for the moment, it is a project for developers. And what I wanted to do with this update and with this fork is to make it more user fr friendly because yeah, you know, not all of you can code. Uh, anyways, this is it guys. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Give this project a like if you want and tell me in the comment section down below what else should I modify to the project. Again, high proofs and big shout outs for the Google Project Zero and Jan Beer for the exploits. And also big shout outs for the Reddit community for some of the offsets. Peace out.